It seems Santa paid a visit to a North Idaho warming center, dropping off donations that will help dozens of homeless people. A nonprofit called Santa Sacks, based out of Montana, dropped off 40 backpacks filled with things like band-aids, gloves, and tents. Our North Idaho reporter Anusha Roy joins us now live from the Ignite Hope Warming Center. And Anusha, these backpacks are really going to help people get through this cold winter. Oh, absolutely. Well, the idea is that these backpacks will have some of those essential things that people will need as the temperature drops. And we were there with the people who are running the center as they look through the backpack for the very first time this afternoon. It was like unwrapping a present. Look at this. I've been educated. <gasps> things just kept coming out. A first aid kit, a tent, gloves, even hats. Look at these wool socks. Presents are things you wish for, and this backpack is like a gift that gives necessities to survive the winter. Oh, from Santa Sacks, what a blessing. A Montana-based nonprofit called Santa Sacks rolled into town yesterday and dropped off 40 of these backpacks filled with essential gear. The donation went to Ignite Hope. It's the new warming center in Post Falls. Grand Force Manufacturing donated a warehouse to help the homeless. It was fabulous. It's on a big four-wheel drive, just 40 backpacks, just and they're they're huge. The donations arrived yesterday, and people like Marnie Nickerson know just how important it is. She slept at the center many times since it opened last month. It means that so many more people are going to be able to be help serve. Ignite Hope is open every night from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., regardless of the temperature. It makes it possible for me to save up enough money in two months to get a place of my own. The people dropping off the backpacks may not have been wearing Santa hats, but it sure felt like Santa paid a visit. I will tell you, he brought joy to so many people. Now, this center will be open only until the end of February, so the backpacks, the plan is to be given out afterwards. That way, even though this center will shut down, the homeless people will still be helped. Live in Post Falls, Anusha Roy, KXLY4, HD News. Oh,